नमस्कार टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ स्पीशीज द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सटेंशन रेट्स ऑफ एक्सटेंशन कैटेगरी ऑफ स्पीशीज वलनरेबल टू एक्सटेंशन स्पीशीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लिंक टू एक्सटेंशन एंड रीजन्स फॉर लोकल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन coming to the topic the number of species and diversity is increasing since the origin of life but this increase is not steady it is characterized sometime with a very high rate of speciation and sometime with a minimal speciation in the earth till now there are five mass extinction the most massive mass extinction occurred in the permian period which is 250 million years ago this period is categorized by the massive mass extinction among the all extinction all mass extinction till now which is characterized by almost 76% of the terrestrial population become extinct the same in the oceanic or aquatic population 96% was lost the reason for this massive mass extinction is one we can say that volcanic eruptions then the collision of asteroids which all leads to the different disturbances in earth climate as well as oceanic level leading to the mass destruction the there are several others reason also which are leading to the extinction for example there is out competition among the species for natural resources or for resources in particular or some predator species can eliminate a species prey species from the environment from the ecosystem the la the massive mass extinction which took place in permian era it took almost 50 million years to again regain this biodiversity so the what i wanted to say is that though the extinction is occurring in natural process also so why we are more concerned now about the extinction the reason being is rate of extinction the rate of extinction in present era is almost 100 to 1000 time more than the background rate which happened earlier speciation is a very slow process it takes thousand of years if not million to develop a species earlier in the mass extinction earlier periods the rate of speciation is almost equal or slightly exceed the background rate of extinction but in the present era especially 200 years era the extinction is very rapid due to human activity around 90% of the population is being lost due to human activity alone so that is why because of this massive disruption of ecosystem along with the species which is leading into extinction we are more concerned about the extinction because once such species is extinct it is extinct for ever the here i have given two picture one is the passenger pigeon which is extinct and the montivardi golden tooth which is considered extinct or which is declared extinct by iucn in 2004 so once a species become extinct it is extinct for ever what is the meaning of extinction it can be uh, classified or categorized as extinct extinct in the wild globally extinct locally extinct or extirpated or ecologically extinct 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 mean a species which is not found in the earth which has disappeared which is vanished which is not available in the earth now is called extinct there are number of example number of species which has become extinct the second category is extinct in the wild it means it refers to the species which are extinct in the wild which are not found in the wild but in the captivity by human activity or human conservation they are found in captivity but not in wild these two category together extinct and extinct in wild together forms the globally extinct species 
then there are locally extinct or extirpated species. Locally extinct species refers to the species which are occupy or which are found in a particular local area in a large number, in a large population, but because of certain human activity, environmental activity, demographic activity or any activity, they are not found in that particular area or found in a very less number, but they are found in some other area. Then one more category which conservationists say or uh, predict or it is ecological extinct. Ecological extinct are the species which due to their smaller number, their role in the community is decreased. For example, tiger. Tiger is a top carnivore, but because of decrease in its number, its role in the cycle is very less. Its role in the community, its role in ecosystem is minimized. So this species, because of its smaller number, because of its contribution in the ecosystem processes, this species is known as ecological extinct. All these categories has been given just to enhance the conservation of these species which are either extinct, locally extinct or ecological extinct and more conservation management practices can be applied to these species. Coming to the rates of extinction, if we look into the rates of extinction, we will see that uh, birds and mammals, they are more studied animals as far as rate of extinction are concerned because of their large size we can say. The smaller animals, almost 99 percent of the smaller animals are extinction rate is almost an estimate like bacteria, fungi and other smaller organism. Even for the larger animal, for bird and mammal, the extinction rate is, is not that accurate or sometimes it is difficult to calculate. For example, the Australian parrot, it is considered an extinct species in 1912, but again it appeared in 1979. The same way, the, the example of young river dolphin, these species are not considered as extinct, they are not categorized as extinct, but in an extensive survey in 2006, none of the dolphin was located. So the rate of extinction is not very accurate because first thing is difficult to calculate. Second, one species sometime if it is uh, declared extinct, it is visible and sometime few species which are not have been found in survey, but still they have not been categorized as extinct, still they are uh, going to be categorized as extinct species. If we see the rate of extinction, just an example, six, since 1600, about 1.6 percent, which is 77 species of the birds and mammal species and 1.3 percent of its bird species, number is 129 species are on the brink of extinction. The number is not that alarming, but the rate is alarming because the number of species which has been lost is 90 percent were lost during the last 200 years. So the anthropogenic activity or human intervention or human are exploiting these resources in past 200 years is more, that is why the rate are alarming. If you see many of the extinct species, extinct means which are staying, which are here present into the ecosystem are on the brink of extinction. For example, 12 percent of the bird species, 23 percent of the mammal species and 29 percent of amphibian species believed to be threatened. The first evidence that human play a very important role or major role in species extinction came when the continent like South America, North America, Australia have found that larger mammals have been eliminating. The reason being is human being. The dominant species after coming into there has started eliminating this large population because the first reason is hunting. The second, this is direct reason, the indirect reason is expansion of grassland, burning of uh, 
fossil fuel or burning of uh, forest land which together with its ecosystem has eliminated the species, eliminated the flora and fauna of that particular species, particular uh, area and the species are becoming extinct and endangered or threatened. These much species has become extinct. Now, these are the number of species which are threatened. Threatened means which are facing the danger of becoming extinct. They are not extinct, they are yet present in a smaller number. The threat is more, but if the conservation management practices are not being applied or they are not conserved, they may become extinct. The number of species out of total 5460, the number of mammals is 1094, then birds 1217 species, amphibian 1808 species, fish 1201, reptile 422, mollusk 974, insect 559, crustacean 429 and plants 7899. Even these are the bigger species. There are smaller species which is difficult to uh, examine. There are number of species which are facing the danger of extinction in gymnosperm as well as smaller plant and fungi bacteria etc. So, the number of species which are under threat are enormous. Here I wanted to uh, describe about the category of the species which are vulnerable to extinction, which are more prone to extinction. Number one, species with very narrow geographical range. The species which are restricted to a particular geography, which cannot go beyond that geography are having more vulnerable to extinction. Because of this barrier, geographical barrier or any barrier, they are unable to cross the barrier and are more uh, in danger if that particular habitat is being destroyed or is being degraded. Then species with only one or few population, if the species are only one or few population, they are more vulnerable because any disease outbreak, earthquake, dis, uh, any uh, other type of intervention or disturbance from human will lead to the species elimination, species extinction. Then the species in which population size is small, the species which are small in number having the more chances of elimination of becoming extinct because of genetic drift, inbreeding depression, outbreeding depression and less evolutionary flexibility because of their small size. Then species in which population size is declining due to certain threats, if these threats are not being removed, the population is vulnerable to extinction. Then the species that are hunted or harvested by people for any which is have utility value, which are high in utility, if again this pressure, the hunting or other harvesting pressure is not being removed, they are very much vulnerable to extinction. Now there are different uh, species characteristic which are linked to extinction. I will discuss one by one these thing, these uh, characteristic. Number one, species that need large home range. The species which need a very large area for forage, for feeding, if that area is reduced, they are more prone to extinction. Then animal species with large body size, large body animals are required large food, their population rate is less, they are productivity is less and they are more prone to human hunting. So these species, large animal species and they also compete in wild game with the human, these species are more prone and more linked to extinction. Then species that are not effective disposer. You see that species which are morphologically or biologically can adapt themselves with changing environmental condition are more resistant or more uh, are less prone to extinction, but the species which cannot disperse, which cannot migrate from particular habitat are more prone to extinction. For example, birds in island, they cannot fly very high or very far, they are more prone. The same way the species in the wetlands, because they are 
not effective disperser. They are in a particular habitat, in a watershed, in a small pond. So, they cannot disperse, they are more linked to extinction. Then there are seasonal migrants. Seasonal migrant, we know that they require two different type of habitat for their uh, their survival. If any of the habitat is being destroyed, their entire life cycle will be disturbed. And the migration route as well, their breeding habits will be changed and it will be difficult for them to survive. For example, if the dam is being constructed or if there is fence is being constructed or one habitat is completely destroyed, these migrants will be prone to extinction. Then species with little genetic variability, the species which are having high genetic variability can adapt themselves with changing environment. They have more genetic variability, but the species which are having less genetic base, they will be more prone to extinction. Then species with specialized habitat requirement, for example, in wetland there are species which can survive only on that particular habitat, uh, the salty habitat or the kind of chemical constituents of that particular or simple watershed. If there is change in habitat and they cannot survive, they can adopt, they will be more prone to extinction. And the species that are found in stable and pristine environment, they are not used to of any human disturbance, but suddenly if they are more exposure of other species due to their inability to compete with those species due to their inability to uh, survive in that changing environment, there is more risk of these species to be lost in the environment. There are species which are uh, form aggregation, may, may be temporary but or permanent, but if this aggregation is being lost, there are chances of them becoming extinct. For example, bat species, they live in caves, in, if this cave these population are being lost, they are due to small population, many activity, they will not be able to perform or they will become extinct. Like for example of herd bison and then school of fishes which uh, aggregate together and the number of population reduction, small population will lead to many inactivity of many physiological and morphological activity. Then the species that have evolved isolated from contact with human, they are not used to of human contact and with the intervention of human they may lose because they are not used to, they are not adapted to the human interference. Then the species which are closely related to the species that recently went extinct or are threatened with extinction because the root cause, the reason for which these species closely related species become extinct, the same root cause still persist. If the root cause is being eliminated, there are chances of revival of these species. As I've told you that smaller population are more prone to become extinct. There are more chances that they can become extinct. So, there is a minimal viable population of a species at a particular habitat is referred to the smallest isolated population having a 99 percent chance of remaining extinct for 1000 years despite the foreseeable effect of demographic, environmental and genetic stochasticity and natural catastrophe. The meaning of this is that if the minimal viable population is being calculated for a species, the conservation practices, conservation management can be applied to those particular species. There are many methods, demographic method, environmental method by which minimum viable population is calculated and on the basis of that, the chances of remaining extant is, can be calculated or they can be conserved. There, the smaller populations are more prone to extinction. The reason for this can be categorized into three. One is loss of genetic variation and related problems of inbreeding depression and genetic drift. There, the genetic variability among the species is the reason for species to adapt into different climatic condition or different environmental condition. There are number of alleles or combination of alleles which is responsible for the survival. The frequency of this allele is responsible for the 
survival or for the existence. If the frequency is reduced, the chances of survival will become less. The frequency may be reduced because of mating or because of offspring. This genetic drift is lead will lead to the extinction of smaller population. Same way in breeding depression. We see in nature itself it is being made that most of the species does not mate with the, their close relative or offspring or siblings or cousins. But so they, this leads to the, uh, the inbreeding depression because if the population is less, they are forced to have a self breeding or inbreeding that will lead to the number of offspring will number of offspring will produce will be less they will be weak they will be non sterile so many uh, problems are associated so inbreeding depression is also leads to the extinction of small population in captivities like in zoo or other area this inbreeding depression leads to more inbreeding depression and loss of smaller population then demographic fluctuation due to random variation in date and birth is also birth rate is also one of the reason for extinction, local extinction or vulnerability of the smaller population. The third reason which is environmental fluctuation due to variation in predation, competition, disease and food supply or natural catastrophe is leads to the extinction of smaller population. In natural, I, we can say that the human being are the main driver, main culprit for species to become extinct. In this slide, I have given the conservation categories which is given by IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. It is necessary to know the status of this species if any conservation management practices has to be uh, applied. The IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources has categorized, have different conservation categories. These, can, these categories are divided into nine categories. Number one, extinct, the species which is being lost is uh, not present into the earth, extinct in wild, the species which are extinct, which are not found in the wild, but in the captivity, in the human conservation, they are there. These are the extinct species, then critically endangered species, the species which are facing the danger of becoming extinct. If there are certain criteria IUCN has given that from A to E that I will show you in the next slide and then endangered the species which can become endangered, which can become extinct if the measures has not been taken place and vulnerable species which again can become extinct in wild or become endangered or critically endangered if they are not protected. The Fifth category is nearly threatened, the species which are not threatened right now, but they can be threatened if they follow into certain category and then least concern other species which are abundant in number. So they are not facing any threat or any danger for becoming uh, extinct or endangered. Then there are species where inadequate data, data is not sufficient to evaluate in which category they fall and then species that are not evaluated. So species, they are evaluated and not evaluated. Then evaluated species, there are adequate data, inadequate data that is data insufficient and these species adequate data were available, the species are divided into extinct, extinct in wild, critically endangered, endangered, vulnerable near threatened and least threatened, least concerned. The IUCN red list criteria has been given for the assignment of conservation category. This is criteria for the species which are critically endangered. The criteria A is observable reduction in the number of individual. In this category, those endangered, critically endangered species come which is their decline in 80% of the population is declined in 10 years or three generation is being lost. Then total geographical area occupied by the species in this category, the species which 
are found only in 100 square kilometer or their geographical area or their area of habitat is completely destroyed. Then predicted decline in number of individual, number of mature individual which can breed is less than 250. The number of mature individual currently alive, the number is less than 50 falls in this category. And E is the probability of this species going extinct within a certain number of years or generation that the species is likely to become critically endangered in next 10 years where either 25 percent of the population is being lost or its three generation is being lost. So these are the category A, B, C, D, E has been given by IUCN red um, data this where the species can become fall into which category. The IUCN has also given a red data book in which each country wise species which are facing the danger of extinction which are extinct which are threatened has been given for almost all the country that can be assessed through the website of IUCN. So, in nutshell, I would like to say that extinction is a natural process, but due to certain activity, the background rate has been 100 or 1000 times more due to human activity. That is why we are more concerned about extinction. Otherwise, if the rate of speciation is equal to the rate of extinction, background rate of extinction, there is no uh, worry, but the background rate is very high. That is why we are more concerned about extinction and human population is human being are more responsible for losing of 90 percent of more species from the earth. The species are having certain characteristic for which they are more vulnerable. For example, the species which are having living in a very geographical narrow range, restricted geographical range, who are having only one or few population, the size of the population is small and the, there is declining in population size due to various factor whether it is environmental, demographic, climatic or human induced factor. Then smaller population have a greater tendency to go extinct than larger population. The reason may be genetic drift, inbreeding depression, outbreeding depression or uh, the flexibility, less flexibility for evolution. These all are the reason for the population to go extinct or extinction of the species. In the last, I would like to say last but not the least that extinction is forever. Once a species is uh, extinct, it is very difficult or it is just impossible to get it back into this earth. This is all for today. Thank you.